Welcome back to Pendragon's Twisted Metals. Hopefully you all like that uh, new intro. So far I've only used it for three episodes, uh, two of my lives, and now the first time on this episode. So, uh, hopefully you all enjoyed uh, that. I made it a little bit shorter, and hopefully it demonstrates what we do on this channel, which is uh, jewelry and metalwork. So hopefully that helps uh, keep some people around when they first see the videos. But uh, tonight we are going to be, hopefully, uh, doing a hinge on our locket. Now, I've never done any type of hinge. I know basically what a hinge does and how to do it but I've never done it so let's go
All right, so now we're going to be making the hinge, um, which is basically I'm going to be taking my bezel wire and wrapping it around one of my silver wires uh, to make sure that it is the right size and that's not too big and that it's not too small. Um, so hopefully this works. Let's, uh, let's get it done.
right, welcome back. Well, huh, this has been one tiresome night, not gonna lie. Um, I should have been in bed a few hours ago, but I really wanted to get this done. I really wanted to test this out and make sure that it actually works. And what do you know? It absolutely works. I am super happy about this. This is great. <laughs> I am I am very glad that this worked. Um with very minimal uh, effort on my part and all of the stuff on the inside is hidden and can be filed down because I soldered a little bit higher than I needed to but this is all set literally all I need to do now is uh, obviously Clean all this stuff up, but uh, make a little clasp down here and a little clasp holder that will snap and hold this closed tight. And of course, go around and make sure that I get all these uh, holes dealt with, all these gaps dealt with. Um, but other than that, this is looking like it's going to be a really good uh, pendant. Oh yeah, I also have to solder a bail onto probably the center one. Get a bail. It's going to kind of look like a hinge on top of a hinge. But, um, yeah... Definitely gonna need a bail on this. Hmm. We'll figure that out next week. But um, I'm super happy about how this came out. So uh, like I said, all we need to do now is uh, clean up all these edges, get something to close this properly and honestly just clean it all up and and well of course you know put in the that's going to be the last thing though put in the bar that holds these together and basically we're going to be um doing a a peen a ball peen hammer down onto this and and make it into a rivet bring it out to the edge, cut it off, and then rivet the other side so that it won't come out. No soldering. So, I hope that you all enjoyed this episode. I know that I enjoyed making it, and like I said, I really like how this came out and how this is going, because this is going really smooth. So, I hope that you all enjoyed. And if you did, hit that like button. And if you really liked it, hit the subscribe button and the bell. And then you'll get notified whenever I put out a video. I do three videos a week. My uh, two uh, lives, which are the Knitting with Metal. And of course, these episodes, which is the Pendragon's Twisted Metals. And that's the uh, jewelry part portion of my uh, channel. Also, if you have anyone you think would enjoy this type of video, then uh, send them a share and maybe they'll enjoy this as well. It really helps out the channel. But as I said before, I uh, need to go to bed. So I hope that you all have a wonderful evening and a happy new year.